Okay, so today I'm just going to have a conversation with Adam Schaefer. Not a Matt, not Adam Schaefer, the real estate agent, just the person. Okay? okay. So take me to, man, just three months ago, right? You've been here how long? I've been here for about three and a half months. Okay, so, so. T- talk to me about four months ago. Where you're at in your head, what made you call us? Talk to me through that. Well, um, it, it's kind of ironic. Uh, I did have my cousin used to help out with financing for some mortgages here. Uh, he was afforded the opportunity, and uh, by chance, he actually was supposed to be calling a client named Adam, and he called his cousin, myself, named Adam, and we got to chatting for about 10 or 15 minutes in the morning and said there was a fantastic opportunity for myself and a great group of people to learn from and that the real estate market is, is a great opportunity to set yourself up for the future, have you know, financial uh, freedom, uh, which I think everybody wants when it comes to uh, their lifestyles and things of that nature. And I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Okay. So you first walked through our doors. Very first uh, meeting that you've had with us was where? Uh, it was at the, uh, the hotel, uh, Tuesday morning meetings at 10 a.m. And I think what hit me the most is starting the meeting with a prayer. Um, I have a lot of faith in, in myself and, and a lot of faith with my family. I grew up uh, uh, in the Catholic Church and went to sort of a parochial school. Uh, first few years going to school. And when I walked in and everyone was so welcoming and it was just a warm atmosphere. Um, a lot of times I think when, when people have the opportunity to, you know, push higher and try to find and set new goals for themselves uh, dur- during their life, they try to find a place where it is welcoming um, a lot of times, you know, in the corporate structure, the corporate field, there's, there's different types of personalities that make it, uh, difficult for some people. And with the warm nature of everyone in the, in the welcoming nature of, of people inside of the John Wentworth real estate group, um, it was kind of a no brainer for me. Okay, good. And then, you know, you just, we, we just, uh, you just went to your very first team retreat and our second annual team retreat. Tell me, just before the retreat, what you were feeling like, and then talk to me about the retreat. Before the retreat, uh, I was excited. Um, I was I was looking to learn. Um, not saying that there's, I mean, every single person inside of this group at the John Wentworth Group is always went, you know, willing to lend a hand. Um, you know, and willing to answer questions if they do, you know, the know the answers to them, and. I knew that with just the community events that were set up in the late summer while I was with the Wentworth group, um, this was a fantastic opportunity for myself to go in and try to absorb as much as I could because I knew that there was going to be knowledge bombs everywhere. And while at the retreat, it was a, it was a special, special time for myself because it was a, more of a self-reflective moment um, to where you hear these stories from people all across the country about survival or about building your business and just about life in general. And I think <clears throat> there's something to be said for that, right? You know, it, it was, it was a lot to take in for, you know, the 36 hours that we were there. Um, but the experience was invaluable in creating in bonding and creating deeper relationships with the folks on the team. In addition to that, all the knowledge and, um, you know, openness from all of the speakers that we had was, was extremely impressive. I mean, everyone is looking to help. Everyone is looking to, you know, give you the affirmation and knowing like, Hey, there's so much opportunity out there to build your business and to grow and learn new things and take different pieces of each conversation and use them and, you know, just grow from it. So it was, uh, I got extremely emotional. You did. It was, yeah. That's it one was, of the things I noticed about you yeah. is you, you actually did get I mean, emotional. It was, uh, it was, it was a, it was a wide open, um, situation in, in which there was, 
really, really, really deep, thoughtful conversations and presentations about things um, that didn't necessarily have to do with business, but more about life. And I think when hearing those things and, and, and hearing where people traveled from and had to go through, you know, everyone has a story, right? So there's, there's so many things that we take for granted in life and it kind of brings you back down um, and, and checks your ego at the door. And I think that's, uh, that's one of those things that really, really hit me hard. Um, and I was fortunate, you know, to have that opportunity just to listen to the stories that we heard. And I tell you what, if you guys have a chance to go on Facebook or, um, check out the Wentworth team page and just take an hour of your time and listen to some of the stories that were, were told to us, um, it, it could definitely change your life. Good stuff. Talk to us about legs. What's legs mean to you? Legs, um, you know, it's, uh, it's just about doing the right thing, you know, putting yourself in, in another person's situation and in their shoes. And, and like I said before, you don't know what their story is. You don't know what they've been through or, or you know, the kind of uh, things that they have in their past that they're still trying to cope and deal with. Um, but always trying to do your best to treat others how you want to be treated and how you would want someone to help you during the process of finding a home. And there's a, there's a lot of times where, you know, some, some clients or, or some people out there that are looking for homes have someone that they work with, but they don't necessarily go that extra mile to make sure that they can uncover every single rock, if you will, to find the answers about things. And I think the importance of doing your very best and going that extra mile uh, for your clients opens up that door of trust. And in the real estate industry, there's so, so, so very many people in which purchasing a home is going to be the largest financial decision that they're ever going to make. You know, besides having a baby and getting married, you know, what else is there besides purchasing a home, right? So you want to always make sure that you can serve the people to your very best because that's how I would want to be treated when I'm looking for a home. Good job. Yeah, um, for sure. And then, <clears throat> you know, you, you talk about talk to a new brand new agent, just getting their license. You're you, I'm you, new. You, I mean, I'm three new. months. I am. Yeah. Describe yourself right now in your mind, mentally picture Adam trying to do this by himself without the John. <laughs> you know, if you if you don't have a great supporting cast behind you that is full of knowledge and has that expertise in the field, you're going to fail and, and you're going to fail hard and you're probably going to fail pretty quickly um, because there's so, so, so much to learn. I mean, there's people that have been in the industry for, you know, 10, 15, 20 plus years that are still learning things every single day. And if you do not have that support system behind you that's willing to you know, open their arms to you and give you the information and answer your questions, that way you do have a knowledge base, the conversations with the clients that you're talking to aren't going to be as easy and oftentimes are going to be more difficult because you're not, you don't really know what you're talking about. And I think just it's just human nature where people have – the ability to read people and kind of see through them and to really know if they're BSing them or not. Right. So if you have that education and you have the people that are willing to, you know, guide you along the path and, and open their arms and, and have the willingness to teach you things, um, it's invaluable. I mean, if you're going to a different, uh, agency, I don't, you know, there's tens of thousands of real estate agents just in the state of Michigan alone. And there's very, very few team oriented, helpful, you know, uh, agencies like the John Wentworth group that are willing to, you know, put you to the fire, but also nurture you and make sure that they do have that bucket of water, you know, uh, to make sure that, you know, when you're talking through a conversation with a client, <clears throat> you're going to have the right answers. So you're talking to Adam Schaefer three and five months prior to right now. What's the John Wentworth Group all about? Whew. 
loving, serving, growing, being out there in the community, helping people, uh, making sure that we can brighten their day and uh, put them at ease in knowing that uh, we are professionals and we do our very best to get you all of the answers that you're looking for and to make the process as smooth as possible.